no matter the location. From OAKLA to LV, I'm a Raider. Get a pick. What do you think about signing cornerback Daryl Worley? It's a depth move, and it's a move that you bring in a player that knows your scheme. Worley last year for the Raiders, I believe, had like 58 tackles. But just like he was for the Cowboys and just like it happened last year for the Raiders, Worley, uh, he just gets roasted way too often. And I don't know if he's better than Nevin Lawson, but with all the injuries the Raiders got, you know Trayvon Mullen's got the one side of the field locked down. The Worley moves this. They're a little bit worried about Damon Arnett, who's probably not going to play this week. In fact, I'm going to bet money on it. He ain't playing this week. Let's go to Primus Rocks. Hey, Mitch, I think Ruggs is going to do great this coming weekend. <sighs> Fingers crossed, dude. I, I mean, I really hope so. Ruggs has been one of these players that I have talked nothing but good about in the beginning, and I've been frustrated with him because you can see the talent. You can see the tools. It's all there. For him, he just needs to put it together. But for anybody out there that's calling Henry Ruggs a bust, Shame on you. Go look at Cliff Branch's numbers his first two years, okay? And 27 games, 22 catches, three touchdowns, 300 yards. Sometimes it takes guys another year, sometimes two, to really get it going. Please be patient with Henry Ruggs. Let's go to Caden the Plug. If the Raiders win out the season, Mitch will. Oh, man. So uh, I said if the Raiders lose to the Jets, I was going to drink 10 beers in uh, six minutes, which would be rough. How about this? If the Raiders win out, so that's 11 and 5. If the Raiders win out, I'll do. So my last beer challenge was seven minutes or seven beers in six minutes. We'll try to we'll try to do eight beers in six minutes. Sound good? I sure hope so. So to make sure that you guys don't miss a thing, I want you to subscribe and turn on your notifications. How do you turn on your notifications? Look underneath the video, and you're gonna see underneath the video a simple little uh, bell. You click that bell, click all. Now, if you're wondering how can I get the videos pop right up to my phone, this is how you do it. To turn on your new YouTube notice just like another level, go to your settings app on your iPhone. I want you to scroll on down, tap YouTube, and then tap notifications, and then turn on allow notifications. Basically, when I drop a video, if there's breaking news, it's going to pop up on your phone. Essentially... I mean, essentially just like, uh, what's an easy way to put it, right? Like you'd get a text message. It's by far the easiest, easiest way to do it. So again, turn on those noties. I would definitely, definitely appreciate it. Now, we got a super chat coming in here from Joseph. What up, man? We need to blitz Rivers all day. He's a statue in the backfield. Totally agree. Uh, Phillip Rivers this year and their losses, three touchdowns, six interceptions. He's also dealing with a foot injury or toe injury that he's going to have to get surgery. Yes, you definitely, definitely have to get after him. Another super chat coming in from Christopher Leonard. Why hasn't the Raiders looked Earl Thomas's way? I think it has to do with chemistry, and I think it just has to do with all, all 32 NFL teams haven't looked at Earl Thomas. Why? Because people don't want to deal with the drama, and maybe he is a little bit washed up because the fact that it's been this long and nobody's looked at him, I think that there's something going on with Earl Thomas. This question's coming in here from Boats, Boats, Boats. <laughs> I love how he met your mother. Mitch, the safeties suck last week. Should the Raiders sign Justin Simmons? You know what, man? Or woman. I don't know. <laughs> I would love Justin Simmons, in fact. Justin Simmons is my top safety in 2021. Plus, he knows the AFC West very, very well. 76 tackles this year. Two tackles for a loss. Seven pass breakups. Four interceptions. You want to talk about a perfect duo with Jonathan Abram? Justin Simmons. Simmons. Now, I like Jeff Heath in special teams. And honestly, I like Eric Harris as a special teams player if you want to keep him. But they're not good enough to be starting caliber safeties. So Jonathan Abram, Justin Simmons, out of all the needs the Raiders have, they got safety needs, they have defensive line needs, but if I can go out and get Justin Simmons right now, I would do it in a freaking heartbeat. So go down in the comments, name a player the Raiders should sign in 2021 NFL free agency. Soon as the season ends, we continue to do videos literally every single day. I promise you, we will have a new video out for y'all every day. Like, that's one of the things that we predicate ourselves here at Chat Sports and here on the Raiders Report. So go down in the comments section. Let me know. Name a player the Raiders should sign in 2021 free agency. This one's coming in from one of my main dudes, Manny Villegas. Do you think Trayvon Mullen is a top 15 corner in the NFL? Top 15 is close. If he could be a little bit more consistent, I would say yes, but he's right there, man. I mean, he, he's, he's so close. I, I might say yes because 
I might say yes because the other corners on the team struggle. And a lot of people will point at the fact that he doesn't have as good of numbers as some of these other corners. It's also because teams don't target Trayvon Mullen because you'd be kind of dumb to target him with all the other players that the Raiders have that struggle in the secondary. Is he top 15? Maybe not quite yet, but I'll tell you what, man. He's really close, and he is well on his way to being a top 15, top 10 corner. Super Chat, Power Raiders, my dude. Hey, Mitch, I'm in Vegas, and my wife bet me, the Las Vegas Raiders lose. I would buy her a designer purse, but if we won, she would convert to the Raiders and drop the Jets last seconds of the game priceless. That's freaking awesome, man. Uh, hopefully, you're able to check out some of the Raider bars that I was able to tour. If anybody's out in Vegas and you're ever looking to, for a place to watch a game, all you got to do is go to chatsports.com slash Raiders bars and you know, you guys should be able to get set up there. I, I, like, literally visited, like, 15 places. Seriously, go check it out. But Power Raider, that's one of my dudes right there. Go give him a follow on IG at Power Raider. All right, Primus, you're back again. Mitch, do you know what the status is for Damon Arnett? You think he's a bust. You, you can't call any first-year player a bust. You, you just can't. That's just It's the truth, right? We said, oh, Cleveland Furrell's a bust, and he's been the best defensive line player for the Raiders this year. In terms of Damon Arnett, he's not going to end up playing this week. Uh, if he does, I'd be shocked. I think this is one of the biggest reasons why the team went out and got Daryl Worley. He dealt with uh, some concussion issues the week before. Then he left the second play after nailing Frank Gore. But it's also a shoulder. It's a neck. You don't risk a player that you drafted in the top 20 of this past year's draft. Let him rest. Let him be fully healthy. But, yeah, that's why they went out and got Worley. All right, next one's coming in from John. What up, John? What do you think about going to the playoffs? I would love to go to the playoffs. Yeah, you just got to take care of business. I don't want to look too far ahead because this season reminds me a lot of last year where you were 6-3. and three. I know last year they were 6-4, and four, and we were super confident. Yeah, you played a lot of really solid games. I think they looked forward a little bit looking at the playoffs, and then they got bit by the Jets. This year they got bit by the, the Falcons, excuse me. And I think for a young team, you know you're a good football team. But be confident, be patient, you're going to get it together. So – and the first game, though, I'm not going to say playoffs, but I am going to say we're on to Indianapolis. Right now, the Raiders, two-and-a-half-point underdogs against the Colts. If you want to go bet on the Raiders to cover that spread, if you want to go bet on any NFL games this year, please go ahead and do it at BetUS. The way that you get hooked up and the way that, honestly, you help me out is by going to chatsports.com slash Raiders. Use the promo code Raiders125. It gets you 125% deposit bonus. What does that mean? You deposit $100. You get $125 for free. You deposit $200, you get $250 for free. We are hooking you up with the best deal on the internet. Now, I understand that sometimes I say the words bet or bet site, and some of y'all might get a little bit worried. Guys, I promise you, they're 100% legit. I bet, I don't know, like 10 bets literally every single week. If you have any questions, if you want to know what bets I do, email me, raiders at chatsports.com. And I can get you the details on how to get signed up step by step. I promise it takes like three to four minutes. If you're like my dad who's terrible with computers and cell phones, it might take you an extra two. But bottom line is this. Betting on games makes football a little bit more fun. Raiders at chatsports.com if you need those details. Markavis Gray, get a pick. Will we see Trent Brown Sunday? Man, I sure hope so. He, so he was activated off the COVID-19 list. All the reports are that he's going to play until Trent Brown actually steps foot on that football field. I can't honestly look you in the eyes and say that, yes, he's going to play. Because how many weeks has it been where we're like, Trent Brown's going to be back. Trent Brown's going to be back. And yet, I, you know, I, I just don't know if, uh, if he's going to be back. Another shout out to uh, Power Raiders. Last super chat. You're my man, dude. All right, Raider Eric, you're next up here on the Las Vegas Raider Report. Trent Brown replacements, laugh out loud. You know, it's going to be – I'm going to be curious to see what the Raiders do here, right? Like, let's say Trent Brown comes back the final four weeks, and he's dominant. And when I say dominant, like one of the best right tackles in the National Football League, Raiders make the playoffs, and Brown's great in the play – And or wait, Raiders make the playoffs, and Brown's great in the playoffs. Do you, con do you consider keeping him? Now, it does cost you $14 million, but $14 million for one of the best right tackles in the league, you know, it's actually not that bad. But if they do decide to move on from him, you cut Trent Brown, it costs you $0, so you would save $14 million. I promise you, I will do a video on Trent Brown replacements, no doubt about it. B. Rabe, Charles Woodson as defensive back coach would be stellar. Couldn't agree more, but uh, Charles Woodson's a friend of Chat Sports because we also do a Michigan show. 
Charles is super happy with his wine business, which is absolutely thriving. Charles, if you ever want your wine on the show, let me know. I'd be more than happy to put it on here. But, um, hey, if he wants to coach the DBs, if he wants to coach the defense, I'd get rid of Paul Gunther in a heartbeat and bring in Charles Woodson. We got this one's coming in from Dr. Juan805. Um, our D-line was bad against the Jets. Who is the top defensive tackle the Raiders should sign in 2021? So I've already made a video over on our Chat Sports channel with over like 225,000 subs. Please go check it out, youtube.com slash TV. My top defensive tackle in free agency this upcoming year, it's Leonard Williams. And when Leonard Williams first came out of USC, this was a player that I was super, super excited about. And actually, when I first started doing videos here at Chat Sports, I wanted Leonard Williams. I wanted the Raiders to go out and get Williams. Now, unfortunately, the Jets ended up getting him. He went to the Giants. But he has been stellar. I mean, 10 tackles for a loss, 24 quarterback hits, 8.5 sacks, 39 tackles. I mean, he is one of the best young defensive tackles in the National Football League. So, would I love for the Raiders to get him? Yeah. absolutely. flipping lutely One of the biggest needs right now is that interior defensive line. I love Max Crosby as an edge rusher. I love what Cleveland Furl has been able to do inside and out. But those two guys have really been the only consistent players on our line. Mo Hurst is here and there. I absolutely love me some Mo Hurst. He's one of the best players that we have. But we need more consistency. You add Quinn and Will or you add heck, even Quinn and Williams, go trade for him. You add Leonard Williams, he now turns into probably our best defensive player. Eh, definitely on the line. So I talked about defensive tackle. I talked about safety earlier with Justin Simmons and Leonard Williams. What do you think is the bigger need? Do you think it's defensive tackle? Do you think it's safety? I mean, if you could tell me right now, hey, Mitch, we can go out and get some Justin Simmons. We can go out and get Leonard Williams. I would do it in a freaking heartbeat. But looking at some of the comments flowing in right now, no surprise that a lot of you are saying safety. If you ever want to talk Raiders, if you're ever, I don't know, just curious about what's going on around the nation, hit me up on IG. I'm at Mitchell Renz 365 This past week, I had an amazing message from this woman named Amanda. She was like my husband. Uh, Adrian, he watches your show literally every day with our son, and I was able to put him on the episode on Monday. That's why I love this show. I wasn't born a Raider fan, but I am definitely one now because I am all things family. And Raider Nation is family to me. So if you guys ever want to talk Raiders, if you ever want to get to know me a little bit better, please hit me up on Instagram, MitchellRens365. All right, let's go to JP. Will Tyrell Williams return? I personally don't believe so. I had high, high hopes for Williams. Uh, he was a player that obviously I interviewed here, I talked about, and I, I wanted him to succeed. But with a contract of it's basically $10.6 million next year, you can cut him and you save $10.6 million. I just I don't anticipate the Raiders bringing him back. I think one of the biggest reasons why the Raiders went out and drafted Brian Edwards is to be the Tyrell Williams replacement. Edwards looked really good in the beginning of the year. Some injuries slowed him down, but I think it's time to move on from Tyrell. D. Mendy. Okay, how would wait? How would our D stack up against the Colts attack game minus J. A. and Arnett? So basically, you're asking how are we going to stack up without Jonathan Abram and Arnett? There's going to be an issue. I mean. The, the offensive line for the Indianapolis Colts, I would argue, is probably the best in the entire league. So the fact that we struggled this past week going up against the Jets, I am nervous that the Colts are going to be able to establish their dominance on the, 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 the defensive line. Jonathan Taylor, Jordan Wilkins, Naheem Hines. Hines is more their scat back. But if you want to be able to beat the Colts, you got to get after Phillip Rivers. Luckily, the Raiders know how to do that. The issue was the Chargers offensive line last year was trash especially compared to the Colts' offensive line. So I want you guys to name the Raiders' best defensive player this year, top to bottom. The question makes me bring it up because Jonathan Abram is obviously not going to be in this one. And when he's been on the field, he's been one of the best defensive players. For me, it comes down to three names. It comes down to Jonathan Abram, ah, maybe four, Trayvon Mullen, Nick Kukowski, and Cleland Furl. The reason why I'm going to put my money on Kukowski, he wears the green dot. He is by far the captain of that team. He's the quarterback of that defense. I'm a big fan of Nick Kukowski, so for me, that's going to be my vote. But, hey, y'all, please go let me know. One of the MVPs on the Raiders report is these deals we got going on with some of these Raiders masks. If you want the mask that the players and coaches wear, it's that one. You can get it at chatsports.com slash Raiders mask. Maybe you want this two-pack. This one's actually only $9.99, usually $19.99. Maybe you want this three-pack. This is the three-pack that I own personally. 
I absolutely love these masks here. The four pack, which you see to the right of me, usually $30. It's now $15.99. There's also another three-pack, actually, that's only, listen to this, $4.99. Yes, some of the face masks up to 80% off. If you need one, why not rep your Raiders? Chatsports.com slash Raiders mask is how you get it. A few more questions here. JP, we should sign Juju Smith-Schuster and Shaq Barrett as 2021 free agents. I like Juju Smith-Schuster a lot. However, I would rather have Allen Robinson over him. I would take Kenny Galladay over him. I would take, um, there's another receiver who's escaping my mind right now, Chris Godwin over Juju. He's a very talented receiver, but the name outweighs it a little bit. And I hate to say it for his sake, he's really only been dominant with Antonio Brown. And then the other reason why I don't think it's going to happen is because, again, this is going to be a team that's invested in some young receivers. So I don't know if bringing in Juju is going to be the answer. I love Shaq Barrett, one of the most underrated linebackers in all of football. But Nicholas Morrow has played pretty solid this year. I anticipate the Raiders extend him. You have Nick Krakowski, and you're going to continue to roll it with Corey Littleton. So I personally don't anticipate the Raiders bringing in a linebacker this year. One more dead Raider. Who on the roster makes the Pro Bowl other than Waller and Hudson? Uh, definitely Hudson and Waller. I actually don't know if anybody else does. Maybe Alec Engold. He's been one of the better fullbacks. I would have said Josh if he wouldn't have gotten hurt. Maybe Nick Kukowski. Nick Kukowski definitely deserves the vote. He's been a top five linebacker in my opinion. But Waller, Hudson, Nick Kukowski.